Hi, I'm Amy from Amy's Mix of Creativity. I am back with some more paper crafting items from Sunny Studios, one of my favorite types of paper crafting companies. I am not trying to promote this company. I just want to show you some of the items that I have that I've purchased myself because I am not affiliated with them. I am just <laughs> someone who loves their products. Um, they're a cute little company that's on the internet mainly, so if you can check them out, I would definitely do so. Um, I'm sharing paper crafting tips in my videos, and right now I'm doing a Christmas paper crafting. So here are some really cute die dies that you can get purchased from Sunny Studio. The midden and the stocking are pretty interchangeable. They can be, I'll show you a close up of it, they can be used for make cards or make different um you know designs with all the material with all the dyes that are added in like the snowflake and the flower and the buttons so they're very it's very versatile and can be used in different ways you can make a full size a2 type of card with the midden and with the stocking okay they're both can you can be used that way sorry about the glare and sorry if you hear wind, I'm videotaping in the middle of the night and we're having like a, a really bad rainstorm outside. Every once in a while the wind will pick up so you'll probably hear it. But anyway, so this is um, a really cute idea for an A2 card also, or you could use it as a gift card holder. Very cool. Okay, I showed it in my last video, which if you want to hear more about it, check that video out. Um, going through that one fast because I want to show some more of my Sunny Studio products that I have. I love this company because they just have such adorable items. And I, I realize not all of these items are going to be... Um, you know, brand new when you might see this video. Um, this is from 2023. It is a new one. It is called Sunny um, Sunny Studios Baking Spirits Bright. So Baking Spirits Bright is a pun on pun on worth. And these are adorable little supposed to be adorable little cookies and a milk and a hot cocoa. You got <laughs> you got the gingerbread kid guy. <laughs> Such a sweetie. Adorable, cute little uh, snowman, gingerbread house. You know, it's just it's just how can you not like something like this? It's just too sweet. So these these are stamps. They're polymer, photopolymer stamps. So they're clear, and you can use them with um, a stamping platform, something like a Misty. Which, and again, I'm not promoting any companies or trying to. Um, you know, say anything that is, you know, something is superior than something else. I have a Tim Holtz platform also, so and I like both of them very much. But um, those are really great for stamping anything. I would, they're highly superior over just using a block, a stamping block, or acrylic block. Acrylic blocks are fine if you're stamping a couple items, but if you were to stamp this whole sheet of cookies for a, for a card or for, you know, tags or for designs for just embellishments it it would get <laughs> it might get kind of tiresome and having a stamping platform really helps out with that and I highly recommend it if you're considering paper crafting um look into it though you know make sure you re do your research as you would with any of these products that I'm showing you you know you know this this company is a it's a, it's a great company, but there's plenty of companies out there that are really good. And so you please look into all of the varieties and for for products like stamps and die cuts and for, you know, for dies and paper pads for, um, you know, stamps, um, ru like rubber stamps, things like that. There are all kinds of companies out there. Um, sticker books, everything. I'm just showing you what's in my stash so I can give you some ideas and some tips on how to use things. Okay, so this I would stamp these 
little icons, the little cookies. And then I would probably, I personally would use my brother scan and cut to cut them out just because I have that. And then I don't, and I don't have, I didn't buy the extra dice with this product um, to cut out the, to cut it out just because they're pretty simple and they're very easy to use um, to die cut with the electronic machine or, you know, with a brother scan and cut because you can scan in the, the stamps on a piece of paper and it will cut it. It's not as easy with some of the other machines, but um, also these are pretty easy to fussy cut. So if in a pinch, I want to just cut them out with my scissors, not a big deal. Okay, here's some dies. These are a little bit older. I think these are from, the, um, let me see if I can see where it says. It's called Warm and Cozy. I don't see the date on there, but I think it's from a couple, uh, either last year or a couple years ago. I bought them this year because I just thought I really wanted some cute little mittens and hat and a mug to put on. Um, you know, tags. Tags are my jam. I love making Christmas tags. I get so excited on making Christmas tags. But I have so many materials already. I'm not going to probably use these this year because I just have so many embellishments that I need to use on tags and on Christmas cards. So I'm going to keep and hold on to those. Okay, here are some, um, some, some older stamps these are all these are not these do not come out this year um i don't think yeah it says 2022 you can tell down by the bottom i i didn't realize but most of them do say the 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 sunny snippets with the die the dies they don't have the date on them but this the stamps do so this is called penguin party very cute oh my gosh look how cute they are I just, I love this type of thing. And if you're a person who loves to color, it is so much fun to color in little stamps like this. You know, it's like, <laughs> it seems like a kid thing to do, but it isn't. It's like, a, it's art. It's like making beautiful designs and fun, whimsical projects with these designs. It's just so much fun. So, um... You know, if you're, if this is too much, because these are, there's pretty, they're pretty detailed. Like the guy with the, all the gifts, that would be a lot to color in. And there's, you know, there's certain color, coloring, um, certain markers and color, you know, alcohol markers, um, like Copics, that type of thing. Um, oh, oh, who, oh, who use? oh, gosh, I said that wrong. But anyway, there are different markers on the market, especially alcohol markers that are really good for coloring in these type of, um, stamps and you, you have to use a certain type of ink. I usually use Memento Black um, tux or Tuxedo Black for the stamping so that when I color them in there won't be any bleeding and it works out really good. Um, again, you know, using a stamp, stamping platform is really a good idea. Okay, here's another really cute one. This one is <laughs> This one's adorable too. I just, oh my gosh, these, I love the illustrations. Um, these are foxes. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this. This one makes me laugh every time. I just love it. <laughs> I think that hat is so precious. So, you know, you have the special um, things to go along with the stamps, like a little, little, oh, I'm shaking, sorry. <clears throat> So there's a little stump for them to sit on. You can make this, these could be Valentine's too. You've got a little, you know, two that are kissing. He's the little guy, I guess, and she's a little girl with a little eyelash. Here's a mom and, or a dad with its baby. So, you, you know, there's ways to use this type of thing, not just for Christmas, but for other, other times also, you can even use them on like birthday cards or whatever, right? Or a mo Mother's Day card or whatever you choose. There's some kind of silly, um, you know, like, hope this season finds you all wrapped up and happy. I think that's adorable. It's not that silly, but, you know, some of the, like, Hello Foxy. There's some, <laughs> you know, Foxy Christmas is the name of this one. Really cute. 
Okay, I'm almost done with these, but just bear with me. Here's one with little bears. This one was from 2021 called Bear Hugs. I've used this one. I've used most of these before, but not, you know, like I've already stamped them. I've already colored them, and I have them in my stash. I have the die cuts in my stash. Um, this one is so adorable with the little, <laughs> cute little one here with its baby. Looking down at its baby. And here's one that's a big one, but it's actually a little baby one. They're just so cute. And they have an ice, they have a little iceberg to lay, um, these could be brown bears or polar bears. So there's trees also, so they could either be on, you know, on their, on their little iceberg. Or they can be in, in the woods and in the, in among the trees. Sending you winter hugs. It's so cute. Here's my final stamp. Um, final clear stamp package. It's from Sunny Studios from 2021 called Christmas Critters. It's a really cute stamp too and I've loved using this one. I love the, the really cute script for the words and the wreath and I'm really I really I really love these cute little you know um embellishments and all these little animals it's four animals can fit so that they're coming out of the mug they're inside of the wreath they're all coming out of the stocking coming out of a mitten hanging on a ball they can be coming out of a, a gift package or coming out of a little pocket so that's really cute. And again, these little critters can be used for anything. I mean, they don't have to be used for Christmas. They have a Christmas hat and some antlers they can have put on them, but they can be used at any time of the year. So that's um, my, most of my Christmas, that's my Christmas collection from Sunny Studios. Um, stamps that I have right now, I just love them and I think they're so adorable. I'm gonna come back with some more stamps because I wanna show some of the ones that I have from other companies to show I'm not just you now using one company and that's it. So please, please come back and join me and um, hopefully you get to see some fun collections that you haven't seen before or the ones that you have in your own, in your own, you know, stock that you would like to bring out and use again and give you some inspiration. All right. Well, have a good week and Merry Christmas. Bye.